All right, so if you want to merge your products in Shopify, I'm going to show you a trick that won't going to take much of your time. And that is the bulk action. Okay, so we're going to be using off shoulder as an example for this one. Um, obviously, you need to sign into your Shopify account and go into the products. And let's say, click that stretch off shoulder, or just type in off. So at the moment, we have one, two, three, four. So we have four off shoulder that needs to be merged. And I want to use this as a main individual products because this is something, this off shoulder, it, we're really trying to get rid of this off shoulder. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to click this one as my main. So the goal is we want these three products to set as draft once we merge all of this tree to this um, product itself. So we'll be using a variant for um, this one. So I'm going to click that. And then at the moment, there's only three products in here. So I'm going to click add products and go into the products and type in oft. And I want to take all of this off shoulder tops. Okay, and make sure that all of them are tick and then done. And then here under the design, or if your items doesn't have a variance, you can always add variance. Let me just delete that for you to show how to set that up. Okay, so you should able to see this variance option in here. So you click on add options and you're not just limited to the designs itself. You can use, you know, age groups, leaves, color, neckline and all, or if neither of that describe your variant, you can use a custom one. And let's just use design one, two, um, three and four. Okay. And once variant is created, it should pop something like this, like a grid also. Um, and we're going to be adding or setting the products that is relevant to each variant. Click add and this one, and then this one, and then this one as well. And lastly is the variant green kind of like abstract thing. And also don't forget to add the availability of the variant because what will happen if you didn't add that item, it will set something like this. It will be like, you know, unavailable. So like that. So if the variant is available, you need to add a availability units. Okay, I'm gonna add that, add that. And then save. So with this product, um, it's giving the consumer an option to select a design by variant. And also, some of the you know um, mistakes that other are doing is subscribing to your plan. Actually, when you are doing the implementation, because you don't know if you need more time to upload your products. So um, I don't really recommend subscribing to plan if you don't really you don't have like a time um, like a solid time frame to finish uploading your products so um, there's actually a de development environment type um, without so you don't need to subscribe to any subscription but yeah if you need help you can always you know consult at me use the link below or you can check my tutorials about Shopify all of my tutorials at Shopify is very non-techy just follow the instruction and you should be good to go